513, we got a missed car test. Ask for you especially. Okay, I got it. Car 13, out. That's a damn lie. They called me wet fart. They called me the bat because my voice didn't break until I was 19. So, Mr. Shrub, I take it you don't believe in regulation. I believe in giving people a chance, not tying them down with lots of needless regulations. The fact is, business is run by moral people who won't do anything illegal or try to get rich quickly. But since you got elected, Vice City has been characterized by a government who cut aid to the poor, offered tax breaks to the rich, and pay people to dump toxic waste near schools. Yes, we've made a lot of progress. And up on Capitol Hill, you were instrumental in pushing through a bill allowing the manufacture and sale of giggle cream, a dessert with potential lethal consequences. Uh, not true. Only 23 people have died, and several of them probably deserved it. So, with people being set such a bad example by big business, how are they supposed to respect each other, to act safely in society? And how are they policed by a demoralized and underfunded police force? Well, I'm afraid that's apparently quite a difficult question, but my solution is easy. I'm going to talk for a long time about a subject not in any way related, and pretty soon people will forget all about it. I'll remind people that I have a great haircut, and that under my stewardship, Vice City has had, on average, 15% better weather than before. Hmm. Well, no sign of Mercedes. Only go up if you don't turn the graph upside down. Turn it upside down, and they have halved. Halved! Under me, Alex Shrub. Vote Shrub for president, and you'll have a friendly face in the White House. A man you can trust. A local man who likes golf and laughing and photo opportunities at your store or place of business. Just send me a letter. I'll send you an automated photocopied response. We call it democracy, and that's where the money goes. Uh, just a don't, minute. Don't interrupt. Let me finish. But you're not. But this man won't let me speak. You, Shorty, shut up and let me speak. I'm taller than him, ladies and gentlemen, by at least three inches, which means I'm a lot more respectable looking. Everyone knows politicians lie and steal and cheat, but at least with me in charge, you know I look good and I have a very supercilious manner. Besides which, I've been abroad and I prefer it here because I'm a man of the people. Vote shrub. You'll get richer and you won't feel guilty about it. Enough! We're running out of time and you completely failed to answer the question. I'm a professional. That's my job. <sighs> and Mr. Hickory, what about you? All right. These problems are typical of what happens with an open border to the north. The state is filling up with trash. People who can't tell the difference between It's time for Kaufman's cabs, guardian Guys angel, the first thing about fender. the legality of marrying within the family. That's why we need a river. People, I'm telling you, pick up your spades, go into your garden, start digging as deep and as far as you can. Pretty soon the whole state will be flooded and ruined, and then they'll have to leave. We must build a moat to the north or they will come down and ruin this great state. And Mr. Hickory, were you born in Florida? <laughs> what a stupid question of all the cheek. Were you? Of course not. No one's been born in Florida since 1877, but I've been here for five years, which is a very long time. Yes, it is. A very long time. Almost as long as this show. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Pressing Issues.